Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. It is April 18th. Mm -hmm. Lisa, Scott, Lydia here with you. The rain has stopped, but we're talking about the wind today for your forecast. First, though, we got to remind you, we're live on Facebook every weekday morning. You can join us when we go live, but it also stays on your feed throughout the day, so you can watch it whenever it works for you. It's also made into a podcast right away, so you can find it at inform.com slash podcast. Just look for the Inform Minute or anywhere you find your podcasts. All right, we lost the rain now, yeah. finally, but uh, kind of cooler weather setting in, and the wind is really whipping up there, Really too. strong winds. Already sustained like 30-some miles an hour around Devil's Lake, Oof. down toward Valley City. Those winds are working in our direction, so I do expect Fargo's wind speed to pick up. We'll gust anywhere from 35 to 45 miles an hour today, mm. uh, sustained mostly in that like 15 to 30 mile per hour range. Uh, that's pushing in colder air. Highs today in the 30s and 40s. 43 is what we're forecasting this mm. afternoon in Fargo. And you know the wind is going to make it feel colder. <laughs> oh, yeah. A uh, little bit of sunshine in the south this morning, but filling in with the cloud cover. So going gray also. Another ingredient that will make it feel a little bit colder mm -hmm. today. A few flurries possible for areas up north as a low pressure system is kind of spinning through Canada. We'll bring those further south tomorrow. So Fargo could see a couple of flakes for your Friday mm. with a high at 38 tomorrow. Mm. And strong winds. Yikes. They'll die off a little bit tonight the wind will and then it's going to pick up again tomorrow Oof. there's a wind advisory today nine o'clock to nine o'clock so starts here in the next 54 minutes and lasts until 9 p.m tonight technically fargo is not included in that but it's still, still. gonna be windy <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's a windy one grand forks valley city devil's lake points out to the west you are all included in that wind advisory today i wouldn't be surprised to have another one tomorrow okay mm -hmm. Um, let's see then. Sunshine takes over for the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, oh, looking right. very sunny. Light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. <laughs> so some great sunshine. Temperatures respond to that sun. We'll be closer to 50 then on Saturday, near 60 on Sunday. Okay. Not too much wind for the weekend too, so you should be able to actually feel that sun and enjoy okay. 50 and 60 degrees, respectively, Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> uh, not as warm as last weekend, not as toasty, but comfy. Yeah. Nice spring, April days. Uh, Saturday, Sunday. I have rain chances back in the forecast then by Monday, looking like some shower activity that'll cool us off into the 50s a little bit for your Monday forecast uh, before 60s make a comeback mid to late portions of next week. So a okay. couple rain chances are on your 10 day. If you didn't get as much moisture as you were hoping, areas up north, you're still wanting some moisture. I have opportunities in the forecast. Uh, not for the weekend though. Weekend does look dry, nice and sunny. Any of the flakes today, tomorrow won't produce much moisture, of <laughs> course. So no good drink of water coming from those. Okay, Sounds that good. is all. Feeling like fall the next really couple days. Is. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Really is. <clears throat> all right, uh, right now the Clay County Sheriff's Office is warning people of an ongoing scam in our area. Uh, someone is posing as Sergeant Chris McCarthy. Uh, they're using a phone number with a 620 area code. A reminder, um, law enforcement's never gonna ask you for money over the phone, so if you're getting that type of call, uh, just hang up. That's not something you wanna be dealing with. Uh, if you do think you received a scam phone call, you're urged to call the sheriff's office and let them know about it. Today, if you're a Moorhead parent mm -hmm. preparing to send your child to kindergarten this next school year, well, you can get all of your questions answered at the district's Keys to Kindergarten mm -hmm. event that's happening 6 to 7.30 tonight at four of the elementary schools in town, Robert Asp, Ellen Hopkins, S.G. Reinertson, and Dorothy Dodds. Now you should attend the school that your child is registered at for this event tonight, and you can go to the Moorhead School District's website to get registered. Today, the Minnesota DOT will update the public about the 11th Street underpass project in Moorhead. Uh, meeting is gonna be held from nine to 10 this morning at the MCOM Center. Project leaders are gonna be there, so you can go and have any of your questions answered about the project that you might have. Right now, construction is a little bit behind because of this week's wet weather. Uh, piling operations were supposed to begin on Monday, but that's been held off now until conditions dry up. MnDOT says that it could get really noisy. You could uh, feel vibrations even in that area uh, because they have to drill into the ground with that process. So if you live nearby, make sure to just move any fragile items away from edges where they could fall or something because you don't want anything, of course, getting broken. Uh, we now know who the Fargo Force will be playing in yeah. the first round of the playoffs. They'll take on the Tri-City Storm this Saturday. Puck drops at 6.05 at Shields Arena. It'll be the best of five series. The second game will for sure be played in Fargo as well on Monday. I'm, yeah. We're going to be out of town. My husband's a huge Fargo Force <laughs> fan, so we'll miss Saturday. 
but I'm sure he'll be there Monday. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see them play in a playoff series here and, of course, uh, pack the Shields Arena. That'd be fun. It would be. All right, uh, the U.S. House is set to vote on a bill to potentially ban TikTok. It's led by House Speaker Mike Johnson, and it also has bipartisan support. That vote is now looking like it's going to happen on Saturday. President Joe Biden is also throwing his support behind the bill, saying he will sign it into law if it gets to his desk. The bill would keep TikTok out of U.S. app stores unless it cuts ties with its Chinese parent company within six months of the bill becoming law. Today on Hot Mike with Dom Izzo, the Dragons wrap up spring football on Saturday. Head coach Steve Lockway will preview what's ahead for 2024. Plus, the NFL draft is now just a week away. Will the Vikings make a move for a top five pick? Good question. Mm -hmm. Dom with Hot Mike, live 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra and Inform.com. And don't forget, for just 99 cents a month for your first three months, you could get it all access past Inform.com. Just go to Inform.com slash subscribe to get that deal. Our next newscast is coming up here at 11 this morning, and we have you covered this afternoon once again at 4, 5, 6, and tonight at 9 and 10, and we'll be back tomorrow morning for more First News. Yeah, be sure to join us then. Until then, have a great day.